I want to talk about New Orleans. Zion Williamson right now looks like mini Mario. You know, like <laughs> Super Mario Brothers where like Mario is the little Mario and then he gets bigger when he eats the mushroom and then suddenly he's jumping around. He's so much uh, better for you and he can do so many more things. We talk about Zion Williamson, Kev, like he never plays. He's always injured. I'm worrying that like right now, even when he plays, he's not Zion anymore. Like Mm -hmm. he's dealing with this hamstring injury. It's worrisome to me when you look at his lift, his second jump ability is second to none in the NBA. It's the quickest second jump in the NBA. And that's part of the reason why he gets such high percentage shots where he's shooting 60, 70% routinely in the NBA. Zion Williamson is getting blocked more than any other player in the NBA. He's leading the league in block shots in a bad way, okay? And it's not (laughs) particularly close. When you look at the number of and ones that he's had, you want to see like a one-to-one relationship with when you're getting blocked or contact, you're finishing through strong. Zion Williamson has been pretty good in that category over his career, but this season it's been flipped and very bad, trending in the wrong direction. Um, You look at the number of dunks that he's had this season, It peaked his rookie season, his percentage of field goal attempts that are dunks, and it's gone down every single year. And my question to you, Kev, is like, what if Zion Williamson, this is just who he is, like even when he does play, he just looks like he's a less athletic version of himself. And the idea of Zion Williamson as this like athletic marvel that's just going to be a bowling, a wrecking ball at the rim, what happens when if he's 24 years old, he's actually looking 34 years old. It means it's time to pull the plug if you're the Pelicans on what you're building. It Mm. means that it's time to reset in some way, shape, or form. And it it means that Zion's value league-wide is going to be lower than it already is. And with Zion this season, you're 100% right, Tom. Like That 5-for-20 game he had against Golden State, I know Draymond has been tremendous defensively this season. Um, so credit to the Warriors as well. But that 5-for-20 game Zion had against Golden State, I think it was last week, worrisome. He just doesn't look like he has the same pop at all. He's shooting career-low percentage at the rim. Like you said, he's leading the league in blocks against. There's no good indicators here, and he just doesn't look like he has that same pop, that same explosiveness at the rim. And so with Zion, you know, remember this summer, the photos of him? He looked great. He looked lean. I'm like, oh, my God. Zion, what if he has an MVP caliber season? It's the total opposite of what you could have hoped for with the weight loss. And honestly, watching him on the court, he just doesn't look necessarily any thinner to me. I don't know what, what I was seeing with those photos. I, I just, I really keep your third eye open, Kev. Maybe there's some Photoshop we're not aware of that there's some sort of <laughs> like uh, misinformation campaign about uh, doctored photos of Zion Williamson. I don't know, Kev. I, I feel the same way. Like, Zion is like a summer MVP. Uh, ben Simmons and him, like they fight over who's the summer MVP. Because I, I, every year I'm like, ooh, talking myself into, into Zion Williamson having a breakout season and then kind of looks the same. It's scary, you know, if you're a Pelicans fan. It's scary because, you know, you're three and six right now on the year. Obviously, you have guys out injured. You miss time with Trey Murphy. Now Hawkins dealing with stuff, Herb Jones, CJ McCollum, De- DeJounte Murray. It's a lot of guys that are hurt, but I think it was maybe maybe after DeJounte Murray got hurt, you and I had talked about how, well, hey, this presents an opportunity for Point Zion. Yep. Do you think it's worth forgiving the, the lower production from Zion considering the amount of guys that are out, or has this just merely exposed this new version of Zion Williamson with the pressure that's put on him. In other words, what I'm saying is, is it come playoff time, you need to do more. And if this is what you're going to get from him when he's asked to do more, that really shows it exposes how lower this Pelican ceiling is. And maybe they would have anticipated. Here are his percentage of field goal attempts at the rim over his career on basketball reference, zero to three feet, 75% rookie year, 70% his second year. 62% his third year when he played, 55% last season, and now it's 39%. Jeez, man. We're having a Wemby problem here where it's like, if this guy isn't around the rim or getting to the rim 
And part of that might be just personnel and spacing and trying to figure out these new guys. But that's not a trend that you want to see is that Zion Williamson is a monster around the basket. And, he, and the volleyball games that he plays sometimes where he misses the layup, he gets it right back and finishes uh, those Z bounds, as, as we like to call them. Uh, they haven't been there as much this season. So it's trending in the wrong direction for Zion. And that's the problem when you hang on to a franchise pillar like that, who's often injured, you, you can't get full value for him until it's too late, you know?